is the e-commerce coffee break the podcast dedicated to shopify store owners who want to optimize their business for maximum conversions and revenue each week you're going to get actionable advice and hear from special guests talking about various topics on how to run a profitable business on shopify learn how to survive in the fast-changing e-commerce world with your host klaus lauter and get e-commerce insights you can't Google. Welcome to the show. Hey, it's Klaus here with another quick tip episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Today, I want to talk about traffic and how to generate traffic for your store, for your website. Most people I talk to, I have only a few traffic sources in mind when it comes to where they want to put their work in. So usually it's Facebook ads, it's Google ads, maybe YouTube, Instagram ads, Twitter ads, something in that regards when it comes to paid traffic. Then obviously they have a kind of social media strategy to generate traffic from Instagram, from TikTok and so on and so forth. And then the long-term strategy of using SEO, blog posts, etc. to generate traffic. Most businesses are limited to six, seven different traffic sources when they talk about their strategies. But there's many, many more traffic sources out there. So traffic should not be really your problem. So where else can you get traffic? There's a ton of different suppliers out there where you can generate traffic, for instance, and on a pay per click basis. For instance, there's at click media, there's at knowledge, you have LinkedIn ads, you have Pulse 360, Site Scout can generate traffic from Yahoo and so on and so forth. So there is a ton of different pay per click advertisers out there that you can use beside of Google beside of Facebook. All of these will generate your traffic and you might reach certain pockets of the interwebs that you do not reach with the other ones. Then you can go the way of native advertising. You basically go to outbrain.com, to polar.me, revenue.com. So we'll find other ways there on how you can create apps out there and put these ads in display networks so that your website or your store will get traffic from there. Then obviously you can have a very old thing at exchanges where if you want to do that, you put your ad in and you show ads from someone else on your own website. It's a very old strategy, still works. If there is something you want to follow through, there's a ton of different service providers offering these. Then you can go on what is called discovery platforms. You might go on Pinterest, you might go on Reddit, you might go on Stubble up on Dig. All of these are different platforms where people are and might discover you. The best case scenario or the best example there is Pinterest. Most people know how Pinterest works. So there's other platforms out there that are similar that you can use to generate traffic. Then do not forget retargeting. Most stores do retargeting. They do Facebook retargeting ads, remarketing ads, or Google retargeting, remarketing. But there's other platforms like AdRoll, for instance, or Perfect Audience that you might want to use. Also, they have a huge reach. There might be more optimizing for getting traffic back to your website than other platforms. So look into, for instance, AdRoll, which I have used very successful in the past, or look at Perfect Audience. These will help you with retargeting and basically finding people that already were on your store, on your website and bringing them back. Then you have like tons of different suppliers like AdMobile, like AirPush, like Bus City, like Inmobi. All of these provide mobile advertising. So a different way of getting to people on mobile devices and a huge chunk of traffic that you can get is from email advertising. So basically you would get your message in other people's email, other people's newsletter. So there's a couple of suppliers that help there. Adweek does that, Launchbit does that, Newsmax does that, Solo Ad Directory do, does that. So email advertising, getting your message in someone else's newsletter might bring you a lot of traffic. Then you have quite a bit of local traffic platforms. So that's basically Yellow Pages or Yelp. Think about in that direction. So platforms that are only for focusing on local areas. And if you have a local business, you want to be on one of these local traffic platforms. Then one thing that people easily forget about nowadays is the good old press release. So if you want to do press releases, then you have platforms like PR.com, PR Insight, OpenPR, PressKing, 188 press release, and so on and so forth. You don't let that out of focus. Press releases can work very, very well. And they can help you not only in generating traffic to your website, which is most likely more short term, but also on the long term, help you through backlinks with your SEO strategy. And then finally, we have classified ads. So basically, 
you put your ad up on a ad platform, uh, Craigslist, for instance, and you try find traffic from there. Usually this helps very well if you're in a very specific market and you know that people are looking for your specific product, for instance, on a ad platform, then you might use classified ads to generate traffic. Two more things here, you can also do blog creation, basically other blogs getting your content embedded into their blog. That might help. It's a bit of a content strategy. If you're doing coupons, then you want to make sure that your coupon, if you really want this, shows up in all of these very famous, infamous coupon websites. They might give you a lot of traffic. They're looking for people who are looking for a bargain, but all of these coupon websites have tons of traffic. So if you're going on a dealofday.com, dealhunting.com, got a deal.com, coupongirl.net, and so on and so forth, you will find a way there to place your coupon and then get traffic from there. And the last tip here is obviously you can work with affiliate networks. So if you have a digital product, for instance, you want to look into cj.com or clickband.com, many more out there that will help you in getting traffic through affiliate networks. So you build up your army of affiliate marketers and then get the traffic through that way. So you see there's many, many ways to generate traffic beside of Facebook ads, beside of Google ads. I have a list of more than 300, which I share in my community. You will be able to get a lot of traffic to your website. So not necessary traffic nowadays is the problem to get there. It's more on once you have the traffic, what happens then? And that's something I can help you. With. So that's it for now. Just want to to give you a heads up on how to generate more traffic for your website for your store if you have any comments then please leave them on the website under podcast or under the video if you're on youtube and i catch you in the next episode of the e-commerce coffee break have a good one hey klaus here before you go i would like to invite you to become part of the e-commerce merchant pro community to get actionable advice from other shopify merchants who already have achieved what you are aiming for our community is a safe place to actively grow your online retail business with the support of the most amazing and helpful group of e-commerce entrepreneurs behind you. Running a Shopify business is tough. Don't do it alone. Join us now. It's free. You will find the link in the show notes. Also, if you think your online store has conversion or marketing issues and you would like to have a fresh set of eyes on your business, then drop me an email at klaus at klauslauter.com and let me know a little bit about your business. It might be beneficial for you to have me look over your store, offers, emails, and ads, and get an unbiased outside perspective and guidance to help you make most of your online business. And finally, if you enjoy the show, please rate and review in the app that you're listening so that I can get bigger and more impactful guests on the podcast. Thank you as always for tuning in today. I appreciate you. Until next time, and I talk to you soon.